Welcome to Conversations with Cindy. I'm here with CEO and President of Dallas Market Center, Cindy Morris. Cindy, thank you for joining me today. And I know we have a lot of exciting news to share as we look to our January markets here in Dallas. Katie, we do. But first, let's extend a big thanks to the design community. We had an absolutely amazing design week in September. We welcomed more than 1,500 interior designers for a great week of motivation and inspiration. Thank you to our media partners, our speakers, and especially our Open Daily showrooms who truly rolled out the red carpet to the design community. This event was our biggest Dallas Design Week yet, and we're eagerly planning spring 2020. Now let's talk January. We have exciting news and updates from every neighborhood. So here's a quick tour, starting with Total Home and Gift Market and these important headlines. We're first. By now, everyone should know that we are kicking off the new year with a Total Home and Gift Market that is the first market in the US, and it's going to be incredible. Mark your calendar to get a head start on product debuts, hot trends, and bestsellers. And all temps now open on the first day of the show. New brands. We have more than 40 new relocated or expanding showrooms. Partners such as Creative Co-op, One Coast, and Roadrunners are expanding, while Callaloo is both expanding and relocating to the World Trade Center. We're also welcoming new partners such as Wild Rumpus Room and Deck the Halls, y'all. Discover products that sell. And the Temps will welcome hundreds of new resources, and we know how important it is to present unique and up-and-coming brands. That includes the hottest category in the gift business, CBD. We have more than 30 companies exhibiting CBD products and we'll be highlighting them at market, along with a seminar about CBD from retail expert Warren Schulberg. The Five Senses. Our theme for 2020 markets is Discover the Five Senses. And it's going to be an empowering way to help retailers create compelling in-store experiences, elevate their brand, and differentiate themselves. The Five Senses theme will be presented across the marketplace via interactive product displays and trend presentations, trend tours, and unexpected moments of inspiration. Icons and influencers. We also have some special guests to share their insights. Lifestyle entrepreneur Erin Lauder will share her inspiring story of building a lifestyle brand. Tom Felicia and Carson Cressley will host a party celebrating our Arts Awards finalists. Trend Ambassador Patty Carpenter will discuss what's next in color and design. And a growing list of experts will lead buyers through trend tours and topics like creating experiential retail. Our final headline is very special events. In January, it doesn't get any bigger than the Arts Awards. The 31st Arts Awards will honor home industry excellence on January 10th and tickets are available now. This year's event will be hosted by Tom Felicia and Carson Cressley. And we're thrilled to honor an industry legend, Michael Amini, with the Academy of Achievement honor. Cindy, this is the biggest lighting show of the year. What's new in lighting? Katie, our lighting marketplace has been very busy and Lightivation is gonna deliver on style and substance. And let me start with the number 50. That's because more than 50 companies have deepened their commitment via new leases, expansions, and renewals. In fact, that is the most lease activity in lighting since we expanded the trademark in 2007. It reinforces our position as the dominant trading center for lighting with all major manufacturers represented. During Lightivation, we'll cut the ribbon on major expansions. We will also welcome back Fine Art Lamps, which is now Fine Art Handcrafted Lighting, as well as Acuity and many other growing lighting companies who want to be part of the largest residential lighting event in North America. The show is also about insights and business intelligence, which will be presented from thought leaders inside the Smart Center. Those sessions available for free include digital marketing, helping your business stand out, customer service, and plenty of specialized sessions from the American Lighting Association. There will also be plenty of opportunities to network and celebrate business for the new year. Cindy, switching gears from lighting to fashion, I know that January will be a big month for apparel and accessory shows. Katie, it is. You know, January is an important market for women's, kids, and men's retailers. 
In this January market, we'll have a one day overlap with the total home and gift market to maximize the shopping opportunities for both shows. The market runs Tuesday through Saturday with temps running Wednesday to Saturday. This is to accommodate the temp floor from gift to apparel. We'll have 2020's hottest looks across all styles and price points, but I want to mention one particular destination, the 13th floor. Our 13th floor is a whole new attraction because of its new showrooms, new temps, and upgrades. We're calling it Be Seen on 13 because of all of the new options on the floor. And it's worth repeating that we're very busy preparing the marketplace for the 2021 arrival of WESA and Western shows that have a new home at Dallas Market Center. Later in January, the men's show will welcome the most important menswear retailers from across the country. If you haven't visited the men's show recently, this is a show with so many new exhibitors, both traditional and contemporary, and it has a fresh energy for the community of menswear retail. And Kids World is a standalone show in January. You know, children's products have become such an important category for gift stores, as well as for apparel retailers. The eighth floor of the World Trade Center is an entire neighborhood of great products with tremendous retail appeal. Well, Cindy, thank you for all the January updates. I know it's gonna be an awesome market season, and I can't help but notice on this time with Conversations with Cindy, you've got some awesome jewelry on. Katie, I'm <laughs> very excited because you know, tis the season for fine jewelry from the seventh floor. And a special thanks to Intergem for the beautiful pieces that I'm wearing today. They are gorgeous. Thank you again for all of the insight. And I know that um, in the meantime, before January markets, please check us out on all of our social platforms to stay up to the date with the most current info here at Dallas Market Center. And we wish everyone a successful and joyous holiday season.